Hello, this is Hamid and uh, in this session I'm going to teach you how to set the interface IP addresses. So in our scenario here we have the 40 gate uh, with the IP address of 192.168.10.1 and the Kala Linux with the IP address of 192.168.10.2. So I'm going to connect to 40 gate through uh, Kali Linux and the username is admin the password is blank so I haven't changed the default password uh, for interface setting uh, we go to network and here we have interfaces so in interfaces section now we have already set the IP address for port 1 and the IP address is 192.168.10.1 let me click on this port so and click on edit so you can edit the port interface so uh, you you can set the alias name for your port such as a LAN or or local and this one is the link status now it is up and you can set the role for your uh, uh, interface basically it's kind of uh, a zone assignment to your interface so here in a 4 case it is called role so I can set it as a LAN and uh, in the in, uh, 40 gig devices, uh, you should at least uh, set the IP manual IP address or DCP address for your interface, and you can access um, these services to your uh, interface. For example, here I have already uh, marked the HTTP. As SSH HTTP ping 40 telemetry and 40 gate access so I can disable this one if you need SNMP you can enable uh, SNMP or if you have a radius accounting or cap up uh, uh, for a gate you can you can enable this one is your if your device is connected to 40 manager you can enable this uh, uh, this option and here uh, you can set the LLDP receive DHCP you can set the DHCP server here so I can now let's say I can uh, enable it in another interface not this interface uh, so I go to interface uh, just OK this interface and go to interface port 2 and in port 2 I call this one as a DHCP and the role is gonna be LAN and so this DHCP is the DHCP client. It means that you receive the IP address from the DHCP server, but uh, you have to at least set the IP address in your interface. So I am setting the IP address of one, uh, let's say one one, and the subnet mask of two five five two five five. 2550 uh, enable the ping HTTPS and then I go here and enable the DHCP server for uh, this address so by default the address is going to be the range of uh, 192.168.10 so now I change the range and I would say from 10 to 
Terry and the subnet mask is gonna be 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway I'm gonna say uh, as the, you can set it as the interface so my interface is now 11 you can set it as 11 uh, or if you have another default gateway you can set it here and specify that if you have a DNS server you can uh, set the DNS server so I can set it as 4224 so now uh, I have set the DNS server here and for the network devices and the admission uh, control uh, that one is for captive four wall captive portal that uh, we're gonna discuss in the next session um, let's say what are the features we have here if you want to set the traffic shaping again we will discuss in the future uh, you can set it here if you have any commands you can set it here if you want to disable the interface or enable you can set it from here and then click OK so now we have already assigned the DHCP server on port 2 so what I'm gonna do uh, I disconnect this connection and connect the Kali Linux to port 2 and then for testing purpose I just uh, go to uh, wire connection and my interface setting and then I remove the IP address static IP address here and set it as a DHCP apply that uh, connect my uh, interface and now I should see the IP address uh, in my interface so let's say do we have ping 192.168.11 here we go uh, just to firewall so admin and I interface are on so if we go to interface network interfaces here uh, that's it port 2 and it's based on the DHCP server and the ping and the other connection is HTTP is enabled here in this port so I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching